I just love the fact church is singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> And we've got up bright and early. We've come down to the Parrots Dive Centre, which is who we've chosen to dive with on the island of Utila. And they've got this wonderful cafe attached uh, called Sean's Cafe. So what a way to start the day, not with hot coffee, but beautiful iced coffee that tastes delicious. And they've even given us the blender because they couldn't get it all in the cup, so we've got a refill. Beautiful banana, pancakes, and a little bit of syrup <laughs> to give you that sugar rush for the morning. Not that we need it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Alfred. I'm born and raised there on Utila. I've spent my entire life there, and it's important to us to make sure that we protect the environment for everybody to share and I really drive my staff to try to make sure that, you know, everybody leaves with a little flavor of the item. So for this surface stop, we have come down to the Utila Keys, which is a little island right next to Utila, and we're going to go and check out. Uh, Captain Larson is going to show us around the island for about half an hour. So we just walked past the breadfruit tree, which is apparently only found in the Caribbean. And I've never seen one before, so that's really cool. So Larson was just explaining that most of the buildings here on this island are privately owned, and they were all hand built. Uh, a fishing community, and it's absolutely beautiful to walk around. What a nice place for a surface interval. Yeah. 
So even on a deserted island next to the island of Utilla, Marianne is able to find chocolate cake and she got caught. He stole my cake. <laughs> Life does not get much better when you get incredible diving, meet fabulous people, eat chocolate cake and you have a flower in your hair. That is called living people. Did you eat chocolate cake? No, I didn't. <laughs> Why are you a little brown? <laughs> because I went all day in the sun. <laughs> So the island here is actually split in two and it's joined by a bridge that we're just walking across now. And if you want a beautiful house, how nice is that? Surrounded by water, it's on its own little bit of island. Absolutely beautiful. So this is Larson who is taking us out for the day and this is a beautiful island. It is, it is. This is um, Tilla Keys. Okay. And there's another beautiful little island behind us here called Diamond <laughs> Cay and that looks amazing. I think there's like a bar on it. I'm not sure why but this house here is known as the House of Colours. I'm not sure why they call it that but uh, it looks amazingly colourful. So the main language spoken on the island is English. It has its own stores. It has how many churches, Larson? It's got about four or five churches. And it's got its own clinic. And a morgue. Well, there you go. They got it all going on. The morgue door. <laughs> oh, Larson's got food. Now it's all like Donkey Kong. <laughs> what you got? We got some cinnamon roll, um, some cinnamon buns. That okay. is amazing. They're covered with a coating of sugar and it's made on the island. Fresh, you feel it warm? I take it back. I love Larson. <laughs> Some good diving. Oh, what? Yeah! Okay, so if you're wondering how much it costs to dive here at Parrots, they have a number of different options. Two dives is $60, six dives is $162, and 10 dives is $250. But there's a bonus. So, with this package, you also get free accommodation in their dorm style accommodation that they have here. So for two dives you get one night's accommodation, for six dives you get three nights accommodation, and for ten dives you get five nights accommodation, and if you want any additional nights on top of these packages, it's only six dollars a night. So when you're choosing a dive school or a dive centre, it's really nice to see that Paddy five star, but it's also really nice to see uh, that you're able to join in a local dive centre that gives back and is part of the community. We have found a beautiful location for some lovely home-cooked food. It's called Mario's. It's like literally next door to Parrot's Dive Shop. And what's even more amazing is they have a little viewing area to the water below that's lit up and you can see fish from where we're eating.
So here in Central America and particularly on Utila, you don't get chips and dips, you get plantain chips. And they're so good. They're good. Mm. And a little bit of ranch dressing. Larson. Mm. Larson might have got the dinner of the day. He's got, is it snapper? Snapper. Snapper, have a look at this. So we just seen the red fruit tree, which is apparently bread. bread. Oh, you see, I'm deaf. Cut. <laughs> Marie got me a flower for my hair. You're just so funny. And a little bit of sugar to give you that cut. Let's <laughs> try. So, has everybody enjoyed this episode of The Larson Show? Yeah!